SK Mitra has called in. Uh, how can we help you, Mr. Mitra? Yeah, uh, good evening. Uh, SK Mitra here from Bangalore. Good evening. Uh, my, my, yeah, my question is that I have bought a plot of land in a plotted development in a gated community in Bangalore. Okay. Which has been sold to me in, uh, and registered in 2007 with the, with the uh, development agreement of the tar roads, you know, and uh, the sanitary connection, water connection, etc. to be done. But the developer till date has been evading and he has only done half-hearted things. He has not done tar road. He has not provided water or any connection at all. Actually, he has left the project uh, in a very abandoned, appalling condition. So we have been trying, a few of us have got together, we've been trying to seek an appointment from him, trying to, you know, get hold of him. He has seen us once or twice, now he's evading. He's saying that since nobody is building any house anywhere nearby, so I will not, uh, you know, I will do it uh, later, I will do it. But he's not doing anything, it is now seven years uh, since... Uh, you know, uh, we, we registered the plot and got the khata. We've been paying corporation tax, municipal tax regularly. What what can we do to, you know, uh, get some relief from this uh, developer? So he was contracted only to give them roads and sanitary connections and uh, the necessary utility connections, but not, has not, not even delivered even, even, even that bare infrastructure minimum. Infrastructure that was required right. for the purpose of... Uh, so, of course, unfortunate that uh, it has not been done. Uh, you'll have to really look into your contract if that was obligation under him to provide for the same. And if not, then of course what remedy remains now is approaching the court to ensure that you seek a specific performance of all the obligations that were uh, recorded in the agreement. Uh, nevertheless, you can also ensure that you pull out uh, documents from the competent authority so seeing exactly what has gone wrong, whether there is any uh, violation of law that he has undertaken because of which he is not able to uh, take things forward because that was a situation that a lot of builders did face. They undertook certain illegal uh, activities, uh, modification of plans and that resulted in a permanent situation of uh, which could not be undone. So you have to ensure that that is also the case. So you can do two things. Of course, uh, approaching the court is the only remedy but you have to also do your homework to ensure that what really has gone wrong, that whether it is just his financial inability or there is genuine uh, uh, breach of law that he has undertaken because of which he is not able to take things forward because remedy for both would be different and may not be the same so if there is a breach of law there may not be a remedy that may lie and therefore you may have to book him under other uh, provisions of law but if it is simple inaction due to so, financial so how do they how do how do they really check this do they rti this or yeah they can under they... an rti pull out all the documents pertaining to the project and hmm. see exactly what has gone wrong is it only the uh, uh, lack of financial ability that is not uh, that is refraining him from uh, completing the commitments that he has made under the project because the sanitation and all the infrastructure work I wouldn't really say that there would be so much of an investment in that sense so if he's still not able to complete that it looks something beyond that as well uh, you know another thing that Mr. Mistra also said yeah. is that uh, the developers telling them that uh, nobody's really constructed anything over there uh, nobody's constructed uh, homes over there so mm -hmm. I'll take my time and deliver it. No, it would be the other effect. way because he is not given the infrastructure, homes are not being constructed. In fact, the infrastructure has to come first. There should be sanitation lines laid, there would be electricity provisions to be made. And once those are done, then actually people can start building up houses and getting connections because those have to reach prior in time. So infrastructure would ex be expected to reach first and then people would be developing their plots. Because this seemed to be a situation where the construction was not his obligation. It was only that infrastructure provision was the obligation of the developer. You know, uh, Mr. Mitra, the, uh, there is another route that you could uh, probably try. And this, this is on the basis of a, a new story that we had run on this uh, channel uh, where uh, a particular, where one, where the, where the home buyer used RTI to put so much pressure on the developer that he had to eventually uh, turn around and settle and, uh, you know, uh, re refund him all the money for a flat uh, that was delayed. Uh, you all could probably do the same. Uh, issue RTI, uh, send off RTI applications to the banks that finance the project. Send it to all the you know the civic body, to all the government bodies that gave the clearances for the project. All of this could build enough pressure on the development. For all you know, he might just turn around and uh, finish off whatever little infrastructure project, uh, infrastructure uh, development he has to do 
for that particular project. So that is also probably something that you, you all could uh, look at simultaneously uh, while you all wait for the response from these RTI applications. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.